Well, like most people here in Australia and of course around the world, we're all spending a lot of time at home trying to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Now, more time at home means more energy use. And of course, going into winter, it's even more amplified. So I think we're all gonna get a nasty surprise when our energy bills arrive. But there are a few things you can do to reduce your energy bills and of course, your greenhouse gas emissions. So appliances like fridges, washing machines, entertainment systems, they usually make up around about 25% of the energy consumed by the average Australian home. But you can do your bit by actually choosing energy efficient appliances. And remember, the more stars, the better. It's all about star power. Also, be smart about how you use your appliances. Because what a lot of people don't know is that doing a cold wash instead of a warm wash can actually save up to 80% of your energy consumption. And of course, avoid using the dryers unless you absolutely have to. Lighting contributes up to 5% of energy consumption in the average Australian household. But just changing out your light globes for LED light globes can make a massive difference. For instance, changing out these halogens for LEDs can use up to 80% less energy. And of course, they last 10 times longer. So go for it. Or better yet, just make the most of natural light where possible. Now I know it's getting chilly out there and our first instinct is to just crank up those heaters. But there are a lot of things you can do before that to insulate your room. And if you do this properly, you could save up to 25% on your energy bill. Now of course, just little things like rolling out a rug on a tiled or a wooden surface and putting blinds or curtains in place to actually insulate the room and keep the heat in. You wanna stop the heat from transferring out through the windows. It's so important to draft proof your home. So look around all the windows and doors, look for cracks, especially underneath the doors and stop that draft whistling through. And that means getting out the door snakes. And now if you don't have one as pretty as this little puppy, you can always roll up a towel or if you're feeling super handy, you can grab a little bit of no more gaps and start to plug up all those gaps around the windows. Now around 40% of energy consumption goes towards heating and cooling. Now modern reverse cycle air conditioners and heat pumps will outperform gas heaters any day. But I do have to tell you that electric blow heaters, although you might pay a little less for them in the beginning, will actually blow out your energy costs in the end. You'll be paying for it. And the temperature you set too is important. In winter, your best bet is to set your heating between 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. Every degree higher can add up to 10% to your energy bill. So there you have it, a few simple tips and tricks to help lower your energy consumption. And don't forget, whilst you're lowering your energy consumption, you're lowering your bills and you're lowering your carbon footprint on our planet. <laughs>